What's up amazing ballroom dancers, Alexi is here and welcome to Ballroom with Alexi. So this is a channel where I am helping you to become a little bit better dancer. So if you are looking for new ways on how to become a little bit better dancer, you are in the right place. So make sure to go and check out all of my content and if you'll find it helpful, please subscribe to my channel so you will not miss any future episodes. Today I am super excited because we are going to break down a really cool step which is called Batucada. So without any further ado guys, let's jump right into the demonstration. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, Alright guys, so 90% of your success in Batucara is actually depend on your footwork and musicality and only 10% is dependent on your hip action. So hip action is like decoration and footwork and musicality is our foundation. So today we will set a proper foundation for our Batucara and we'll be focused on our footwork and musicality. So, musically, one batucata action takes only one beat in music, right? So it's one. But inside this one batucata, we're actually doing three different actions. So, for that reason, we are going to divide our one beat into four quarter beats. One, E and A, right? And our goal is to locate these three actions into four quarter beats. So, let's try to do it. Our first action is goes on account one. One. Right, so it's pretty big action, pretty noticeable. So then second action is a lot smaller and it goes on count E on the quarter beat. E, right? E, so an E and pressing forward. Then third action is takes two quarter beat and ah, right? So I go and ah and moving my foot around and then I repeat I go one then I go E then I go and ah all right so now let's look in details into this three actions let's figure out what actually we are doing over there <laughs> By the way, guys, just a quick reminder that today we are working only on our footwork, knees action and weight transferring actions, but not on our hips. So please remember to keep your hips in a naturally relaxed position. Let your hips do the natural work, all right? So on count number one, I'm making step back. One. Usually we don't have a lot of problem with this step. Make sure that it's a pretty small step. The toe is aligned with the heel of a front foot and it kind of creates this position, yes? Like this. So as soon as you make in step, you right away simultaneously lifting your heel up. And one, and one, and one, right? Pretty relaxed natural step. So then from here that's where it gets trickier. So this action is very small but very very important. So I'm transferring part of my weight forward and I'm creating a pressure under my toe of the front foot. So I go E, yes, E, E. This pressure goes from the center. So from here you press forward. You see how my even standing leg moves a little bit forward, the whole weight goes forward, yes, and I create this tension, this spring contracts and that's specifically for the next action. So next action is result of this pressure. So on count and ah, I'm releasing my leg and moving this around and I go and ah, yes, so look at this again, and ah, 
right? So one more time from a different foot. So I go one, e, e, and pressure forward, and then I even doing little tap and changing of my weight back, and one more time, one, e, and one, e, and one, e, and all right. So now let's do same thing, but back in you guys. And I'm making step back on one, one, then I press forward, E, going back, and uh, one, E, and uh, one, E, and uh, one, E, and uh, one, E, and uh. all right. So if you noticed, I was not using my hips, the only thing which what I want to actually stress and emphasize is that your shoulders all the time needs to face front, right? So do not open your shoulders with every step back, okay? So if you will keep your shoulders always parallel to the wall, when you make a step and if you will try to create this position in your feet, your hip actually will naturally go into right position, okay? So, and that will be pretty uh, enough for us right now. So we go one, E, and uh, two, E, and uh, three, E, and uh. So now let's try that with the slow music, all right? So we're gonna start with your, my left back, and I go one, E, and uh, two, E, and uh, three, E, and uh, four, E, and uh. Ready, from other side. Same thing with your left. And one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, press forward, press forward and round, press forward, press forward and round. Okay, one more time. Remember to keep your shoulders and core engaged and facing the front. Five, seven, eight, seven, eight. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Last time, and then we'll do it quick. Ready? Five, six with your left, seven, eight, and we go. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and. Uh, Four E and five E and six, seven, eight. All right, so now let's try it full tempo. Five, seven, ready, go. <laughs> no, not yet. Seven and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. Three, four, five, six. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of course, when the speed is faster, you don't have time to do that much of your transferring weight, so make it a lot less. But still, push, 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 push from, from the front foot. That's the key element here. Last time, seven, eight, one, two, Three, four, push, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, push, six, seven, eight, yeah. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was helpful, make sure to press like and subscribe to my channel. Next video, I'm going to designate specifically on our hip action and arm styling in Batucada. But until then, please practice your footwork and I will see you soon. Bye.